So I'm going to do this video because of everything that I've put on the channel so far. Um, the most clicks and views and minutes watched and whatever by quite a bit is the similar video that I've done about Luca Magnotta and his snuff movie One Lunatic, One Ice Pick explaining what happened in that video. Um, for those that were intrigued or curious enough to wonder but not actually want to go out there and fucking watch it because it, it does get pretty grim. So anyway, this video um, is another murder snuff movie and it was made by the Dnepro, uh, the Dnepropetrovsk Maniacs. I don't know if I pronounced that right remotely well or whatever. I'm not going to talk about who they are in this video. I'm going to do the, this as a sort of two-part companion kind of thing. If you want to know who they are, go click the other video. For this video, I'm just going to say that their names are Victor, Igor, and a third called Alexander, who I believe is not in this video. This video, from what I can gather, it's got Victor behind the camera, Igor in front. So, along with the aforementioned one lunatic, one ice pick, this video is seen as one of the most disturbing snuff videos to be released to the internet. These two videos, this one called Three Guys, One Hammer, this video and the Luca video are pretty much, from what I can see or gather anyway, or what I've read, they're, they sit at the top of the pile on their own, their own fucking f version of fucking whatever. They, they are seen as sort of like the benchmark, shall we say, for lack of a bit, lack of better terminology. They are, however, though, very, very different, um, and I'll explain that as we go through it. So, like Magnotta's video, Three Guys, One Hammer is pretty long. It's uh, roughly eight minutes, just shy of eight minutes long. And it's shot in a woodland area, um, some bushes, small trees and stuff like that. Um, there is a man lying on the ground. I'll mention a wee bit more about this guy at the end. There's a man lying on the ground, let's say surrounded by woodland. Um, he's got a box sitting across him, or, or a box sitting on top of him. And after a while, uh, whatever, half a minute or so, he pushes this box off himself. And he's not moving overly fast or anything. I'm not entirely sure if he's been like, I don't know if he's been drugged or if he was sleeping. Um, not entirely sure. But pretty quickly, um, Igor, I believe it is, comes and leans over from the, the bottom at the feet to the head and strikes him seven times in the face with a hammer that's um, got a bag over it to, I don't know, save too much blood getting on the hammer, I suppose. There's quite a lot of zooming in to the, 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 hand, the handiwork of these guys in this video um, and it is it, it's hard to say that it's overly or, or more graphic than the one lunatic one ice pick video but the one thing with this is this dude is alive and he makes noises and uh, there's a lot more blood and it, it's just it's a it's a different kind of snuff movie I suppose we could say even by this point after the three hammer strikes to the face um, they've zoomed in and you can see that his face is like caved in um, you can't really make too much out, the quality isn't overly sharp um, I think this was 2007, 12 years ago on a mobile phone maybe that's a fucking good thing if there was going to be a fucking good thing this is what's a, such a stupid thing, silly silly thing to say um, anyway, I mentioned sounds and such before, you know, the, the amount of blood here it's sort of like when you go to um, use mouthwash to gargle in your throat you know that's kind of what it sounds like you can hear the breathing you can hear the spluttering and the gargling um underneath the, the this already deformed brutalized front skull area of this guy um you can see blood drip coming sort of splattering out and dripping back down the back of his head from sort of the top of his cranium down the back of his head um, you can see him kind of moving his jaw, the, the bottom lip and such. It is pretty fucking gnarly. 
the, 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 the two maniacs, Victor and Igor, they're plottering about, mucking about or whatever, they're talking as well. Um, I've, I've, I've read a transcript thing of what their conversation is, or is about, I'll mention that at the end as well. So then, um, after this plotting about grabbing weapons and such, um, Igor, or maybe Victor, they, they, they both get in on the, the, the next part of stabbing, so I'm not sure who's who at what parts, um, but they begin stabbing the guy in the abdomen with the screwdriver, and the, multiple, multiple times, like this isn't a, just the seven that he got struck on the head, this is, this is up there, Magnata numbers, you know, they, they could, between the, between the two of them, they, they must stab this guy easily four dozen times, um, and they even sort of get the screwdriver in, and really sort of fucking look like they're chewing up in there, you know, rattling it about, and, um, you know, like, imagine putting a knife in a jelly, and then swiveling it about like it was a little joystick, um, it's gonna fucking mess up inside, a wee bit more on that later on. Uh, even by this point, how this dude is alive, I have no fucking idea. Um, in and out of consciousness, you know, but you can hear the gargling, he, he moves a little bit, at one point he moves his arms quite a bit, actually not like flapping about quickly or lots, but, you know, side to side he's moving. The fact that this dude was conscious, or not just alive, but conscious probably throughout some of this, fucking horrifying. Um... The camera then pans back to his head, and the the I believe it's Victor here behind the camera actually starts like prodding him in his open wounds, open facial or cranial wounds with a screwdriver. Um, he's sort of just fucking around with it, sticking it in like what I imagined was the eye socket area and such. You know, stabbing again. Um, like I said, this is very very different. To the Magnota video, um, there's a more blood in this one. The Magnota video, that was something that caught me with that video, was that there was actually a, a distinct lack of blood right up until, I suppose, towards near the end when um, he dismembered that body. But this video, there's none of that. There's no uh, sexual gratification in this video. But like I said, you know, it's, it's definitely more um more trauma looks apparent um bloodier sounds it's it's a whole different it's it, like i said it sits side by side with the magnata video but they're very different in their own right um equally as fucking unbelievable though um the guys make more noises um stabbed again in the abdomen they go back and stab him in the abdomen um, before moving back and, you know, fucking around, uh, scraping his skull again and stabbing his skull area with that screwdriver. Um, a bit of ruckus again, and then he is struck three times on the side of the, the head with a big hammer or a, a mallet, um, a small mallet or a big hammer. It looks like it's made of metal, um, and that then is the end of the attack, the murder. I believe that would be where the man is dead. So the, the maniacs then walk out from the trees and they're actually really fucking close to a road. You know, it, it literally took the cameraman five seconds maybe to get to the road and their car is not that far down the road from there, maybe another 20, 30 yards or something. They're talking away. Um, they're fucking laughing, they're, they're cleaning their shit up, um, you know, they, they, they look composed when, when Igor's washing his hands and his face and they're chatting, he's, it doesn't look like he's shaking, it doesn't look like, it, it, I mean, yeah, it's pretty fucked up, but, um, that, that is that, what I will say is what they were talking about, it gives a wee bit more, um, insight into, how fucked up this was, how aware they are exactly what they're fucking doing, because at one point 
um, in the transcript they're actually talking about how he managed to cut up his intestines saw earlier when I mentioned like they're stabbing in the intestines and moving the, the screwdriver about um, you know they're, they're actually really fucking grating or, or chopping up the fucking organs inside this guy and at another point they even mentioned how they, they know like how, how's this guy alive we need to kill him already um, I don't understand how he's alive I literally stabbed him in the brain through his open facial skull wounds um, it's it's beyond fucking crazy right beyond crazy um yeah that's about all that the one thing i will do is actually mention who this poor dude was um his name was sergey yatzenko he was from the village of taromsky don't know if i'm saying any of that properly his murder took place on the 12th of july 2007 his body was found four days later he was 48 and he had been forced into early retirement due to a cancerous tumour in his throat. The treatment had left him unable to speak for some time, um, but this dude wasn't happy with not being able to work, so he actually went out and about the, the local tunnels for, and he found himself some uh, small work, construction work, repairing cars and such, and, uh, such you know, doing what he could um, to put food on the table at home. Uh, this dude was married, he had two sons and a grandchild, he looked after his disabled mother as well. Um, yeah, so I don't really have much more to say on that. That's what this video was just to do, come in, do that, say that part. Hopefully um, that whoever ends up listening to it, if it's some, I imagine some of the same people that um, I've seen the my video for the, the explained one lunatic one ice pick figured if that's this the kind of stuff that people are gonna click on i'll fucking just talk more about it from that video like say get this sort of morbid curiosity that intrigue intriguement about this kind of crazy shit so aye for those that don't want to watch it but wanted to know what was in it hopefully that does, did its job i'll feed us in